I was quoting a country that did something like that. But if it has offended anybody, I apologize. And I want to really urge all Kenyans to know their status. Let us all get tested, tested. let us all, all know our status. And I want to assure all Kenyans who have been on ARVs, we have no policy of arresting or isolating anybody. Please go to your clinics and please go and get your ARVs. And if you need me to come and protect you, I'm willing to come and protect you because it is not my idea to isolate you. And even for the children who are scared to go to school, I'm willing to also come and escort you to school. And I'm willing to deal with the person who is uh, intimidating you from going to school. We are telling our members now that the stand of the government is that is, is, that is uh, as, as before, that they will protect the rights of everybody, and that nobody will be quarantined. The children should be let to go to school now, and people should continue with their programs as, as usual. Those who have been taking ARVs, don't be afraid of taking your ARVs, because nobody is going to quarantine you. That we internationally, we need to recognize that there are countries that have coercive laws and policies around the prevention and control of HIV. Kenya is not one of those countries. The countries that where we have seen the greatest success in the ability to prevent new infections and control HIV transmission are countries that have enabling environments and allow people, give them the willingness to come for testing and access to treatment. One other thing we want to request the minister is to monitor the situation of what her statement has generated, particularly the people who are infected and the families who are affected. One thing we want to appeal to other Kenyans is uh, Kenyans have a right to demand for, for treatment and they should not be intimidated by the captions of the, of, the, of the TVs or the news and they should come out and uh, demand for their rights to be to, to improve access to health and access to treatment and prevention. Thank you.